Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go right to Colorado, and this is the Panhandle Hooker Storm System, and just fascinating to see this thing come together um, down around the Panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. And what we're seeing on the backside, the frontal boundary, and also the barrier jet, very unique features when you get a storm system like this. And you can see the north-south orientation with this setup. Um, heavy snow. It started as rain in Denver and then it changed to snow and we've seen some very heavy snow on the west side of Denver uh, running up into the foothills and all the way up and down I-25. It's been it's very very heavy wet snow. So what's going to happen is this will continue to lift and we'll see snow continue up on the Continental Divide up around Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, Keystone, Eldora, tonight all the way until midnight and then it will come to an end this whole thing will fizzle tomorrow it's going to be a much drier day across Colorado and the sunshine will likely come out in fact here's what it looks like up at Loveland right now you can see it is still shrouded and it is still snowing and again it continues with additional accumulation tomorrow will be another powder day right on top of the continental divide of Colorado Winter Park Loveland a basin Keystone all the way up to Eldora probably into Summit County as well all right let me take you into my bullet points this afternoon here's what I'm seeing so storm number one continues and, and this panhandle hook storm is all part of this it lent some energy into the development of this panhandle storm uh, it continues up in Wyoming and Montana basically on the north side of this this Colorado storm system Utah turning much drier tonight dry tomorrow totally dry and then the next shot or next storm in this cycle comes in the afternoon of 2-5 all the way through 2-9 with probably three feet of accumulation. Storm number two hits California 2425 very hard. I'll show you the latest atmospheric river forecast for that. Um, and then storm potentially three, four, and five of this series. Um, basically run right through California and then hit the central Rockies. They're racing from the west to the east. It's really interesting. That's 2-9 through 2-12. So um, that pattern continues to evolve. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor here this afternoon. And um, here's the setup. Again, it's a little bit complex, but you've got storm here and you've got energy diving in from here. The two will merge. And this becomes that 2425 um, storms, major storm system for California with just copious amounts of precipitation. And then that will let loose and move into the interior and bring a lot of that moisture with it. But here's the Panhandle Hook Storm right there, throwing all that moisture over the top of uh, Denver in the Front Range, enhancing those upslope winds. You've got the barrier jet as well. And it's actually producing quite a bit of snow all the way up through here in Wyoming and Montana as well. You've got a couple of other storms lined up. I, I sort of wondered what was going to happen with these additional storms. Well, it looks like they're going to run right through um, central uh, northern California, probably clipping the Pacific Northwest and then eventually running through the interior 2-9 through 2-12. Here's the latest atmospheric river forecast. And in, this is forecast integrated vapor transport. It's one way we sort of look for it. Again, this is the south central California coast around 35 north, 125, 120.5 west. So you can see it. I mean, we're definitely in that moderate to strong category uh, for this AR push into California. Um, and then you can kind of see what's happening there, 12-8, um, 12-9, and beyond. So just a little bit of activity with those additional storm systems coming in. They're not going to be nearly as strong as the 2-4, um, the 2-5 storm, but there's something there. All right, let's talk about the forecast radar and satellite. So this is, uh, this is updated for the afternoon here in this update. Um, this is the current situation at about 5.30. You can see all that precip slamming back against the, the front range of Colorado into the, uh, into the foothills and being lifted up to the top of the continental divide. And then on that north side, all that snow through Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. All right, so by tomorrow morning, that's the situation. Everything clears out in Colorado. Here comes storm number two, major storm system for California, 2-4 into 2-5. And then it makes its move into the interior, takes some of that precip with it. Here's late 2-6, here's 2-7 in the morning. You've got snow and big sky, the Tetons in the, in the Wasatch, down in Bryan Head, in western and southwest Colorado. And that's not it. It snows into 2-7 in the afternoon and 2-8 as well. Okay, now that storm begins to move away. It might be hard to see on this, but there's another storm right here moving into California, and that will race into the interior. There it goes, and there's another one on its heels. Do you see it right there coming into California on 2-9? So it's like there's two piggybacking, and that's not it. 
Watch what happens. Here comes another one into California, Oregon, Washington on two late 210 and 211. So that's why I was saying storm um, three, four, and five will come in very fast between 2.9 and 2.12. And then this one rolls through the interior as well. So we're talking, and there's even one more behind that on 2.12. Almost losing count of how many little storms there are riding this flow. All right, look at the jet stream. So this is um, late 2.5 and look at the orientation of the jet into the Sierra. Absolutely, it's a trans, rich transport, good aura graphics, slamming the Sierra with feet of accumulation, six months worth of rain for Los Angeles, and then all of that gets carried into the interior. You're looking at strong aura graphics through parts of the interior as well. Okay, this is 2-9. So this is that, this is the, the flow is directing like storm, um, two away and bringing in storm three at this point. You can see it's just all riding through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Okay, here's 212. Not done. Look at the new pattern here. Dif definitely different than this morning. More of a trough. This helps to kind of scoop up everything and just slide it right into the interior. That's why there's storm after storm after storm just kind of riding that slide into the interior. Let's talk accumulation. So the rest of today through tomorrow. Still another two to five inches across the central to northern mountains of Colorado, right on the divide into Summit County, up to Steamboat. Another three to six for the Tetons, potentially three to six up in Montana. And the snow you see in the Sierra, you get hammered there on two, four, and two, five. So you're just seeing the start of that two, four, two, five storm there with one to two feet of accumulation. All right, second period. He's really big. 2.5 to 2.9, another 1 to 2, maybe 3 feet in the Sierra. 3 feet for Little Cottonwood, 2 to 3 feet for Big, and about 2 feet for Park City, Snow Basin, Deer Valley. 2 to 3 feet for the Tetons. Um, really nice flow there. In western and southwest Colorado, you will get the most snow during this period with less accumulation in Summit County and on the Continental Divide. But look at those numbers in western and southwest Colorado, one to two feet, maybe a little bit more. Um, let's take a look at, I'm going to go back, I want to look at BC, interior BC, Revelstoke, Kicking Horse. So one to three there. And then the 2529 period brings another 6 to 10. So those numbers have crept up for Kicking Horse, Revel, Stoke, Interior, BC. Okay, one more stop. The storms continue. 210 through 212 brings at least two storm systems through. 4 to 8 for the Wasatch. Another 5 to 8 for the Tetons. Uh, potentially, you can see the numbers there through the Sierra, so in, uh, maybe another 9 to 12 from Tahoe up to Shasta. And in Colorado, we talk about bonus snow, another potentially 6 to 12, 6 to 14 inches across western and southwest Colorado, um, maybe 4 to 8 up on the top of the Continental Divide. So we've got snow for a long time. All right, looking at the northeast, very light accumulations, and again, this happens mainly late in the period. 211, 212, somewhere right in there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon a mountain weather update. Enjoy another powder day tomorrow in many places and be safe out there, and I'll talk with you later.